and that ended up with us finding uh, exploring Hang Son Dong in 2009. And once we got into there, we realised we'd rediscovered the underground river, which also ended in a sump at the downstream end. So we had a gap there of around 600 metres between the two sumps in the caves. So we were fairly confident that the same water that goes into Serndong then comes out of Hang Tung. Um, but it took until now for us to decide to try and dive and make that connection. If it was a formation, you'd call it a curve. Yeah, okay. it's just oh, a right, massive yeah, okay. There's a thing, oh, and I've got five metres left, lock line, oh, now I'm at 50. Oh, so you only reach 50 at the end? Yes. So we knew the dive was going to go deep, but there was a possibility that there might be um, a higher roof and the floor was deep, but the roof of the tunnel was uh, much shallower, so there was potential for us to be able to get through on, at roof level. Gradually going down, I was looking at the beds of limestone and they were dipping down as well, so it was obviously it was the way on. I could have gone deeper, but you know, with the gases that I had available, it wasn't a wise option, um, so I had to tie, tie off at that depth and then come back up the line. Um, it was obviously much deeper underneath me at the, at the final point, but um, I, I couldn't see the roof at that depth. And with the li limited visibility we had, it was um, a bit hard to sort of discern the roof and the passages. So I ascended and spent a lot of time decompressing. The total dive time was about two hours, and probably 80 to 90 minutes of that was decompression. Uh, when we first arrived at the dive site, before even uh, putting the diver in the water, we decided because there was a raft, we would make plumb uh, depth measurements of the whole length of the sump pool, which was maybe 100, 150 metres long. Uh, and at first we were quite discouraged because it went straight to 20 metres, then often most of it was 35 metres, and right at the end was 93 metres, which was pretty deep and deeper than uh, any of the gases we had available to us. So straight away, from the end of the, end of the, 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 the start of where the sump was, we realised we were not going to be able to get that deep, so quite disappointing. But I think from the progress we've made, I think following the wall, we've identified the main ongoing passage, we've identified it is a separate passage, and we've made good progress there to a moderate or a reasonable depth, considering what we have. So I think that's probably a lot more encouraging than we first thought when we plumbed those first that depth to 93 meters you know very often there's lots of disappointment in what we do we're trying to go places that no one's ever been before we don't know what's there we don't know if we can go there we don't know if the passage continues we don't know if it's going to be too deep or too far so it's a game of just trying and trying and a lot of disappointment and every so often you get a great success um, but that's just the nature of exploration <laughs> 